Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekend love readings. These readings are for the 24th to the 26th of January. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now when you're leaving comments, please be mindful of what you're saying because there's been a few nasty comments between a couple of, well, I don't know if they're subscribers. I'm hoping they're actually not subscribers because we've been getting a little bit of trolling lately. Um, newsflash. I will delete and permanently block anyone making nasty comments to anyone else in the comments. So think about what you're saying. Put yourself in other people's shoes. Like something that might look really obvious to you is not necessarily obvious to others. Like if we're going through traumatic times or, you know, we don't always see things clearly. So be a help. Don't be a hindrance, please. <clears throat> okay, my voice has been playing up today. So we'll just bang this out. Uh, these are general love readings, so if you don't have a love situation or it's not resonating with you because it can't resonate with everyone every single week, um, then please make sure that you hit that notification button if you haven't already and then go and um, check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. All right, let's go. What do we got? Virgo. <clears throat> Virgo love messages, please, Virgo. The 24th to the 26th. Mm. Okay. It's like, uh, it's looking like you don't want to give anyone any attention anymore. And you're just tired of fighting with them. Like it was like giving them attention. It was, uh, it was kind of negative for you. <clears throat> it's like they were causing trouble to get your attention. And you're not doing that anymore. Queen of Cups, so you had, sorry, Six of Wands in Reverse, clarified by the Five of Wands in Reverse. Ooh, Tower. I feel like you're absolutely taking on this Queen of Cups energy because that's this, like, I'm not giving that attention, I'm ignoring it. Um... I'm not going to bother fighting for this or fighting with this. Um, I'm not interested in <clears throat> any conflict with this person anymore. I'm just going to sit over here with my cup. I'm going to be sensible and caring and kind. But there's a tower. We will clarify the tower in a minute. Okay. Mm. And after the tower comes healing and rest and recuperation because you're at breaking point, I think. Or if you're not at breaking point now, because you, I think you're over here, something is just going to push you to the edge <clears throat> possibly this weekend. So you will need that mental break this weekend. Um, you may have even underestimated how much stress this is putting you under, this need to, I'm not, not playing with you anymore is what I'm getting. Let's clarify. What is the tower, please? What's the tower? <laughs> okay. So you may be dealing with an Aries or just someone who doesn't like to be told no. So the very fact that you are saying, I'm not, and not even necessarily saying, but just withdrawing your attention, not engaging in any arguments, not engaging in any kind of back and forth drama with this person, um, that's maybe causing a tower in their world. Um, and they then may pass that on to you by causing more drama. Yeah, okay. You're always drawing your cup. They don't like that. It's like there's no love on offer here. Can I have one more, please? Yeah, they can. It's okay. <laughs> they don't like that. And it's very likely that there's going to be some nastiness. So this King of Swords, when he's in reverse... He is a proper pig of a person. Um, he is nasty. He says nasty things. 
Um, he does nasty things. He's just not a good guy. So watch that. <clears throat> it's likely that um, this person, like I said, doesn't like the fact that you are not playing their games anymore. Um, and it literally it can be interpreted, interpreted, interpreted as not playing games anymore because some people like to see this as they're just kind of playing with like in good nature and good fun. In reverse, not playing, not playing games. But I think they're actually just not engaging in any conflict or any, um, it's like, uh, battling for the sake of like fighting for the sake of fighting not actually any substance to the fight but they're just causing arguments to just have attention you're not giving it anymore let's do most likely outcome i think where this rest and mental break is going to come in is this guy here so i think there's going to be some hurtful things that are said um if they haven't already and that's when you're going to need to just withdraw, process, spend some time on your own, meditate, clear your mind, clear your energy, all that sort of stuff. Most likely outcome, please. <clears throat> mm. That's a whole new person coming towards you. So you have a new, maybe, earth sign coming towards you, possibly coming towards you. That's exciting. Okay. You could be looking at some travel, overseas travel. Um, I just got that this person is from overseas. They may be... Uh, it may be like someone with an accent or like someone that's not from your country. And they, that's going to be your wish come true. Like that's, they're going to give you that fulfillment. They're going to give you all the things that this person couldn't. I'll take one more, please. That's exciting. There we go. Yeah, you may not marry this person, but they're going to actually give you that fulfillment and kind of give you back the confidence to, um, you know, um, for some of the confidence that I think this person has taken away from you. Um, and that is their, probably their role in your life. It might not be to have a long-term relationship with. They may just be here as part of your rebuild after the tower. Um, but I do think they're from, they're probably from overseas. Um, so someone maybe with an accent, look out for that. Maybe an earth sign, maybe with someone with just earth in their chart. Um, but yeah, they, they, they're rebuilding your confidence over here with this nine of cups. Um, don't see them as a long-term possibility though. Well, I don't, you may, but I, I don't see that with that ten of pentacles in reverse. <coughs> okay, let's do some advice, please. Okay, so you will move past this. It is hurtful. Um, it's hard. I think this part of it, again, is going to be the, the hardest bit for you is the nastiness that's probably on its way or happening. Um, but you're really moving through that you're re releasing it or you will release it um and you will absolutely get through it ah repeating energies yeah look i feel i feel like this person is going to be a powerful force even if they're just a friend but they are it could be even you going overseas and meeting this person so if you're thinking about traveling or um you know you've got travel booked then I would say that, you, you know, you're probably going to meet someone who almost is changing your life. Um, yeah, because the battle's done. The battle is done. You do need to be careful not to alienate people, though. So you may be picking up your swords too quickly and, like, being a little bit 
ready for battle um, and that could be scaring people away here in the background. So that's just something to be cautious of. Let's do, but yeah, this, this two threes, I feel like that is a big symbol here. Oh, sorry, romance angels. <clears throat> You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So I think that once you have really released this, that is when this will sort of come into play and really help with the, you know, you've done some of this healing and really help with just getting that self-confidence back, rebuilding some of that confidence back. And maybe not self-confidence, but just confidence in love and confidence in relationships and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, just letting yourself fall into it. That's going to be the key. Okay, Virgo, that's what we've got this weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the comments with a comment. Make them nice, please. Um, I don't care if you comment that it doesn't resonate. That's, that's fine. You know, it's not going to resonate. But what I do get narky about is when people make nasty comments, um, to other people. That's not okay. That's not why I created this channel. Okay, enough ranting <laughs> have a great weekend um and i will see you for the weekly reads bye